Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 127. And Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit and then later YouTube about the lives and development of these three young chickens. And right here before you, you see our little Kagome. She is an Onagadori hen, and the Onagadori is an endangered breed of chicken from Japan, known for their long, lustrous tail feathers that can grow out to be more than 20 feet in length or over six meters. Oh, and hello there, CZMG. Lovely to see you. And it's always lovely to see Braveheart here, our Ayam Samani. The Ayam Samani comes from Southeast Asia and is known for their hyperpigmentation, which means this black coloration goes all the way down to her very bones. And she shares that with our little Stormy here, who is a rooster. Stormy is a silky chicken. And the silky breed originally came from China around 2,000 years ago. And their whole lives, they're covered in these just really nice, lovely, and soft feathers that resemble fur. And all three of these little guys make one peep squad. And we have been streaming them their entire lives here on Reddit. And uh, yeah, we've seen them grow up from three little fuzzballs to the teenage chickens you see today. Hello there, Braveheart, hello. Why, did you wanna come over here? Do you wanna come over here? Huh? Oh, you giving me that look? Yeah? Oh dear, oh dear, jumpy jumpy. And on this show, we just kind of watch the chickies as they go about their day in here. Uh, they spend the majority of their days outside in their outdoor coop. And we just kind of chat, we relax, and we watch the chickies just live their best little lives. And hello there, Banalis. Lovely to see you as always. Ooh, there goes Kagome telling Stormy off. Our... Little Stormy has been getting a lot more interested in the girls lately, and Kagome is kind of an expert at telling him no. And Memento Mori, lovely to see you here as well, and happy Thursday to you as well. We got Braveheart just kind of standing above everything else up there. Kagome kind of just asserted herself over Stormy. And it looks like, you know, he's not going to try to pursue her anymore. And Banalis, things are doing quite well here. Um, it is that kind of time for me where I have uh, done my regular blood donation today. So the next blood do donation will be in December, I believe. So they say each blood donation can help save the lives of up to three people. And this was my seventh. So, you know, that is a nice feeling. And these chickies do enjoy kind of playing on the blankets, kind of scratching at them. And I think we're gonna go ahead and do their weigh in in a moment. We've actually spread a few sesame seeds on some of the um, different levels of the tower. They ate most of the seeds from the lower levels. So we'll see if they'll proceed to on um, any of these others. Oh, and Memento Mori, you're quarantining until uh, until the 2nd of November. Well, I hope um, your results go well, and I hope that um, you test negative for what I'm assuming is the coronavirus. Um, I had it myself with Lauren uh, back in February. And yeah, it was not a fun time. Uh, we isolated ourselves when we had it. And you know, we've been very uh, careful to limit our exposure. Oh, 
there we go, little ones. And let's do your little daily weigh-in. And the daily weigh-in is our way of just making sure the chickies are developing all right. At this stage of their development, they should be gaining a little bit of weight each day. Um, so let's check on what has happened around now. Here we go, Stormy. Here we go, my little rooster boy. It's okay. You've done this so many times, pretty much every day of your life. There you go. There you go. 869 grams. That's a increase there. That's an increase. There you go. Yes, a few clucks from you. 869 grams means our Stormy has gained 10 grams in one day. All right, that is a pretty good increase there. Let's see if Kagome and Braveheart still are doing well as well. Let's see, let's see. Okay. There we go, Kagome. There we go. And then I got a little bit of cooked rice for you to have as a little treat. I believe you have enjoyed that before. Okay. There we go. There we go, Kagome. Good girl. Ooh, got a little bit of flight there. And she is kind of hovering around the same weight now. At 833 grams. And that's all right. And let's see about our Braveheart. There we go. There we go, lovely. I'll just sort this out, and you can get to your treat. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh my, oh my, Kagome. What a fussy bird, and that was brilliant there, Braveheart. Uh, Braveheart is hovering around the same weight as well. Okay. So not much of an increase from yesterday. I believe our food yesterday. Okay. So that is all right. Not a drop. So that is good. Oh my, lots of chicky talk today. So what I'm going to do is we have some cooked rice here. So I'm going to add a few sprinkles of a few other seeds that we have. So I'm going to add some flax seeds to this. Just a few, not too much. There we go. And then we should have, where are the sesame seeds? Ah, yes. The sesame seeds are going to be over here. So let's add a bunch of sesame seeds to our rice and our flax seeds so we can have a nice treat for the chickies. There we go, let's spread it all around. I see some of the chickies are getting interested. <gasps> Look, Dad has another treat for you. Yeah, Kagome, yeah. There you go, guys, there you go. Oh, Stormy is the first one to look in, but he sees the girls approaching. Kagome is kind of the alpha chicken of the group, so she takes the first little bite there. Oh my, oh my, lots of treaties for you little chickies. There you go, little ones. There you go. Oh my, that teenage chicken voice from our Stormy. Oh, it's like his voice is breaking slightly on each cluck. Oh dear, oh dear. I think Kagome is enjoying herself there. Oh, Braveheart's joining in, just getting any little bit that falls out. I think she is a fan of the uh, white rice. This is just some plain cooked white rice. And so far, Stormy's been behaving himself. Uh, Kagome has told him off once already. 
So I think he should be kind of a gentleman today. Um, hello there in California, and hello there, February Monster. Lovely to see you. Um, 64, uh, Deb Taylor. Um, the average lifespan for a chicken, uh, for these breeds, um, they, they, will, they can really vary. Uh, these ones should be about uh, 12 years, and we're hoping that they are happy and healthy. Oh, what is it, Braveheart? What is it? You came to say hi, but there's still so many treats there. Oh, I know I do have a couple of sesame seeds left on my hand. Thank you for helping me with that. You don't need to eat the bandage. That's, that's with where they were checking my uh, blood iron levels. There you go. You cleaned Dad's hand, and now you should clean the plate over there with the others. Oh my, oh my. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's getting fussy again. She's trying to look at the camera. I'm paying attention. I'm, what are you doing? Oh dear, oh dear. I think she got a little bit um, unnerved when Stormy was coming close to her when he was going for the food. She um, isn't really like Kagome, who just kind of tells Stormy off. Her method when she doesn't want to deal with him is just kind of run away. Oh, you're such a bigger chicken. Just tell Stormy off or I'll pick him up and give you some time. There you go. There you go. Enjoy all of your treats. Oh, and hello there, sweet catastrophe. Lovely to see you. And this treat seems to be going pretty well for the chickies. Um, Det Taylor, uh, sorry, uh, Deb Taylor, do they ever fight? Um, they don't really fight. Um, the closest that they've come to conflict in recent weeks is mostly from Stormy. Um, he's kind of developed um, a little bit more than the girls. So he's gotten a bit interested in mating recently. And he started to initiate uh, mating procedures with both Kagome and Braveheart. Uh, Kagome is pretty good at telling Stormy just to buzz off when he tries anything. But our Braveheart here, our Ayam Samani in black, um, she's a little bit... She doesn't really like conflict as much as Kagome, so she usually opts just to kind of try to run away from Stormy, and she gets a bit upset. Um, I'm sure once the girls are both fully grown, they'll be a bit more receptive to Stormy, but um, until then, um, I'm just kind of keeping a close eye on them. Oh, and Polarity, I might have missed your message before. I'll try to uh, go up before. Yes, and I hope uh, Stormy does behave himself today. There we go. Oh, and lovely Polarity. A lovely snoo for you. I, I was a little bit busy yesterday, so I will check that out in a bit. I know I really did love the uh, the Dora Diamond Snoo of myself that I have up now on my uh, profile, especially because it features all of the little chickies. Okay, well, I will check that out and double check that. I've been a little bit busy uh, last night and this morning. Um, so, yeah. I do love those little tap, tap, taps as they are all focused on this treat. I'm glad that the uh, rice is really going over with them. They've had cooked rice before, but I think they enjoy this sort of mix that I've added to it, uh, which for those of you who are just checking in, um, are uh, some flax seeds and some sesame seeds. So it's kind of like a trail mix for the chickies right now. Oh, and thank you, Polarity. I do enjoy wearing the flat cap for these uh, streams. 
And it also gives me an excuse not to brush my hair. There you go, Braveheart. Have had your fill? Just want to walk around a bit? Clean off your beak? Well, the other two are just happily continuing to eat. Oh, and you are back with the rest of the flock. And one of the best ways to a chicken's heart is through their stomachs. These little chickies enjoy eating a variety of different treats. And, uh, you know, it's just fun watching them kind of learn about new foods, see what they like, see what they dislike as they grow up. Oh, there we go, little ones, there we go. Oh, and uh, 772. Yes, Stormy is a hands handsome little rooster right there with his um, kind of puffy hairstyle right now. Uh, yesterday, we did a bit of a special stream in which we gave him a little bit of a trim. And that was just um, our way of making sure that um, his eyes weren't really being rubbed by his hairstyle there. Uh, that can be a little bit of a danger for silky chickens. Um, they might have these great, glorious hairstyles, but it can end up rubbing against their eyes almost constantly. And as a result, many silky chickens can actually go blind after a time. So that is a fate that we want Stormy to avoid. Um... So, Deb Taylor, uh, we keep them inside the house for these streams, and also when they uh, sleep at night. Um, otherwise, they are outside in their outdoor coop. Uh, we have a pretty big lawn for them to go around, so they get a lot of fun in the sun. Um, in the winter months, we will likely be having them inside more often than not when it gets a bit colder. Uh, we are in the nutmeg state of Connecticut, so we can get some pretty cold winters over here. Oh yes, and the chickies can be quite cute. Um, it's been such a joy just to see them grow up day by day, develop a little bit more. Their combs have all sort of uh, come in. Uh, they're starting to develop a few wattles underneath their beaks. And, you know, they get a little bit bigger each day. And, uh, yeah, so th that's sort of fate for Stormy of, you know, being blinded by his own glorious hairstyle. That's something we're going to avoid by using his sort of little bit of hair product. And we are going to avoid it by um, uh, style, styling his hair, giving him little trims. So we'll never have to worry about our little Stormy going blind. There we go. There we go. And Kagome is a huge fan of the rice today, it seems. And yeah, everyone, just feel free to ask any questions that you have about the chickies. It's always nice to have a conversation, to learn a bit, even as we are relaxing. I like to kind of call these broadcasts my daily dose of uh, chicken therapy. It's hard to be mad, sad, or even feel a little bit bad when you're just watching chickens enjoying themselves. There you go. And it's so cute just watching you guys wipe your beaks off right on the blankets. They are big fans of the blankets. Um, they go around the blankets for about uh, two to three days. Um, and then we kind of just wash them in our washing machine on a sanitizing cycle, followed by an antibacterial cycle on our uh, dryer. So that keeps everything nice and tidy for them. And then we also make sure to uh, sweep and mop about twice a day in here because we want their environment to be clean and we want them to be healthy little chickies. And, uh, Zemedy, thank you for the helpful award. That is much appreciated. Uh, and a little tap of beaks against porcelain. 
as the chickies find all of their little treats. I think a lot of this might be them going for the little bits of sesame seeds they see in there. But I've noticed that they've eaten quite a few of the um, grains of rice as well. And I think they're eating a few of the flax seeds. I think flax seeds are probably their least favorite of the three ingredients in here, but I've noticed they've eaten some. Um, Memento Mori. They have gone on the uh, cat tree a few more times. They're still kind of warming up to it. Um, it is a great place uh, when S Stormy's getting a little bit riled up. Um, for him to calm down in his little sort of bachelor apartment there. And um, I've seen Kagome kind of hopping from tower to tower over there. In fact, I could spread a few more sesame seeds and show her that there are sesame seeds up there. Here you go. Oh, here you go. Oh dear, oh dear. Come here, come here. There you go. There you go. I got a Kagome on my shoulder. Oh dear. So let's see if I can put Kagome on the tower. I'm gonna get close. There we go. And look, Kagome. There's a bunch of seeds up there. Oh my. Peck, peck, peck. Are you gonna just jump all the way back there? Oh. Well, Stormy's coming up. He wondered where Kagome went. Look. Look, Kagome. More seeds, look. 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 Yeah, more seeds. I know you can make that jump. That is really easy for you. Let's see if I can get Braveheart over there. She might know what I'm doing at this point. There we go, there we go. Let's get Braveheart over to her sister. There we go. Oh, and hopping right back. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I guess the sesame seeds are not the appropriate lore right now. Oh, another little line from Braveheart there. Oh, and come here, my boy, you got up so high. There we go, my little rooster. Oh, oh, he's full of energy. I think he's gonna jump right back up. Oh, no time for dad now, fuzzy butt. Well, that's all right. That is all right. Oh, and thank you, uh, Zij... Sorry, this is gonna be Zijuk uh, Gia. Uh, thank you for the compliment there. I'm quite fond of the chickens myself at this point. Um, you know, I just consider them members of our family and friends for life. And I love just seeing them all hang out together, just enjoying each other's company. The girls these days, more often than not, like to hang out together. And Stormy is kind of um, following them about. He uh, takes his duties as a rooster very seriously, keeping a watch out for them. Um, he started crowing a lot more often these days. If he uh, kind of sees something happening. Oh, hello there, Braveheart. Jumping right here onto my knee. How are you doing, girl? How are you doing? Did you want a pet? Oh, Kagome, what is up? What is up, my little Kagome? Talking to Dad? Did you want more treats, or did you just get a little bit annoyed that Dad put you on the cat tower? Oh, my. Do you want to come onto my shoulder? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Lots of... There we go. You're there on my shoulder. You're there. There you go. There you go. Hello there, Braveheart. Just kind of watching as I put Kagome on my shoulder. Oh, there you go. Look. 
Who's that bird? Who is that bird on my camera? It's you. Yeah, there is my little brown-eyed hen. There you go. Yeah, you look lovely today, Miss Kagome. You do. Are you going to preen as you look at yourself? Do you see any of your feathers out of order? Oh my, well that is quite the little song there. What? Fine, I'll give you a pet. Is that what you wanted? Or did you just want to stretch your head over my head? You wanted to be the tallest of the flock, eh? Oh my. I know, you're such a tall, mature hen now. You are? Are you looking over at Stormy? Hello there, Stormy. Hello there, my boy. Can you see yourself right there on the camera? Oh, what is it, Kagome? What is it? Such talk from you. Did you have something to say to everyone? Oh, dear. Well, you have a very handsome profile there. Oh, and thank you, 772. You know, I try to keep my voice low and melodic for the chickens. Uh, chickens can be very sensitive little creatures. They can get riled up very easily. So by keeping my voice nice, low, and calm, it can be a way for them to enjoy their days even more. And the Fancy Foxy. Well, I um, have uploaded all of these streams to our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. And I too have a, uh, another series that I have there called Richard Reads, in which I read from some uh, Japanese fairy tales at the moment, but I'm gonna be reading from other stories as well. There we go. And in the future, you know, I think I might be making a couple of little children's books based on the chickies. Um, generally speaking, um, I do enjoy writing um, a lot of fantasy, science fiction, and horror in my spare time. So um, writing for um, children's books is a little different, but it's a, you know, challenge that I'd love to try. I think Braveheart it wants to come over here, but she's trying to really just bypass Stormy. Oh, there you go. You got to your favorite perch there. Are you trying to say hi to Kagome, who's on my shoulder? Oh my. I think Kagome wants to jump over there as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. Lovely, lovely. Oh, a lot of talking between the chickies right now. What is it, Kagome? What is it? You want to go over there by Braveheart? Here, I'm going to move my shoulder right by the perch, or did you want Dad's shoulder? You can move over there if you want. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Here. There you go. There you go. Be careful. There you go. There you go, lovely. See, I wasn't going to let you fall. I know you wanted to be over by your sister. You need to watch them sometimes. They can get a little bit clumsy at times. Oh my, hanging out with Stormy today, are you? Oh, and 404, an engine not found. Lovely to see you today. Hello, Braveheart. Want to say hello? Yeah? Oh my, just looking down at Kagome and Stormy, watching over them. That's all right. A little bit of alone time can be a good thing. And look at you, your face has developed so nicely. Look at that lovely comb you have. Those new waddles that are coming in underneath your beak. Yes, you are lovely there, Braveheart. You are a lovely hen. Oh, yes, and I hear you as well, Stormy. You are a lovely little rooster. 
looking out for his girls, looking out for the health and safety of your flock. And Kagome here as well, you know, her comb um, matches her new waddles coming in underneath her neck. Yeah, I know. It's quite distinguished there, Kagome. It shows that you are really becoming an adult. And Stormy here, his comb is a little bit different. It resembles more kind of like a bun on his face. A little gray bun. But he is developing these little red waddles underneath them. Oh, and it looks like right here, um, Stormy has a few feathers that are in the process of molting. You saw him just kind of tug on them. And um, it looks like they're almost ready to come out. Ooh, chicken sneeze from Braveheart. Bless you there, girl. Bless you. Oh, our little Kagome does enjoy playing the trumpet. You do. Your little trumpet song. Oh, showing us all your fuzzy feathers back here. As he just kind of sorts out this whole fuzzy situation he has going on here in the tail area. And it is a lot of work for him to keep everything up. Um, and I know Lauren said we have ordered sort of like a little baby brush to kind of help him with uh, his sort of preening duties. Um, so far he's kept up a pretty good um, he's kept pretty good care of his feathers, but, you know, just in case, we'd rather have it. And polarity, that is true. Our chickies don't really do too much of the traditional clucking, like you see, um, on farms and other videos. Um, I, the most I really hear clucking is really from Stormy, and that is first thing in the morning. When he's kind of waking up, he his voice kind of cracks and he has these just sleepy little clucks as he's waking up. Um, it's kind of cute because each little sound that he makes, each of these tiny little honk clucks, um, his voice just breaks and they kind of squeak. And you can really tell that he's just going through puberty. Oh, and 772, you once read to freeze corn kernels in ice cubes for treats on hot days for chickens. That might be an interesting thing to try. Um, we're a bit beyond hot days now, but I can make a note of that um, when we start to come up to next summer. Oh, there we go, there we go. And I think if we're going to be giving any future um, hair styling to our little Stormy, we'll do um, a little special video like we did yesterday when we were giving him a little trim. Uh, yesterday, for those of you who want to check it out, um, we did a little bit of a trim to Stormy in which we just took off a little bit from his cheeks, um, which were kind of rubbing into his eyes and a little bit from above. Um, his full glorious hairstyle has not come in yet, and we want to be careful about not um, cutting any uh, pin feathers. Uh, pin feathers can like still have that kind of bloodline in them, uh, so we want to make sure um, to not potentially hurt him. Um, so we'd rather let the full hairstyle grow in. Oh, and Allie B88, hello there, lovely to see you. And you and February Monster Chicken in about the same time. There we go. And I noticed just that blue area on Stormy's neck is becoming more and more prominent each day. Oh, there you go, my boy, just cleaning up all of those feathers there, all of the chickies are just like in the midst of doing a little bit of feather maintenance. 
I could only imagine what it's gonna be like when we have the first little chickies uh, join the flock when they start um, laying eggs in a few weeks. So the blue spot is actually um, a bit of his uh, skin that is exposed. Um, it is like your seat, it gets a bit more blue when he's excited. I don't know the technical uh, term for that blue spot that he has. Um, like Braveheart, um, she kind of has a spot like that by her neck, um, except it's, you know, pure black right there. Uh, Kagome also has a spot like that, except for her, it's just a white color. And Private Hand. Um, so they already do spend the majority of their days outside. Uh, we just bring them in for these streams, and we bring them in during the night. Um, we... Um, we'll likely be keeping the chickies in here for nights for the foreseeable future. Uh, we have had friends in the area have some unfortunate um, events happen to them in regards to the local raccoon population.